During the last decade, Zipolite in Mexico has transformed from a sleepy surf town with a nude beach to one of the most popular clothes-free destinations in all of the Americas. In this video, I'll tell you about this town and give you some valuable tips to make your stay unforgettable. Unlike what you'll sometimes hear on the internet, Zipolite is not a naked city like Cap d'Agde in France or Vera Playa in Spain. Going clothes-free is accepted on the whole beach as well as in a nearby cove called Playa de Amor. Also in several bars and restaurants and in the more than 10 clothing optional resorts. In town, however, you are required to cover up. The nude beach is about 1.6 kilometers long, which is almost exactly one mile and is different from pretty much any other nude beach you'll find in the Americas because it's very urban. All along the beach you'll find bars, restaurants and hotels. Determining which bars and restaurants allow nudity is a bit tricky because almost nowhere you'll find signs indicating the dress code. The best thing you can do is just ask or give it a try and see what they say. Everyone on the beach is very comfortable with seeing naked people, so that is not an issue. If you want to be certain, it's best to pick the restaurant of one of the clothing optional hotels on the beach. Zipolite Beach can be divided into roughly three parts. The area near Hotel Nude is known as Shambhala. This is often called the epicenter of Zipolite Nude Beach and where you will typically find the most naked people. The rest of the main beach is just Zipolite Beach and at the very end you'll find a staircase that will take you to Playa de Amor, a separate cove. As the name The Beach of Love suggests, in the past there was a lot more happening here than simple nudity. But I have the impression that those days are largely behind us. Today, Playa de Amor has become a popular spot for those who like to be a bit away from the crowds during the high season. And this is also one of the best places to watch the sunset. Other than attracting nudists from all around the world, Zipolite has also become increasingly popular among the rainbow community. And you'll find that many venues proudly raise the flag. The town center itself is not more than a handful of streets, filled with bars, restaurants and local shops. Zipolite has always had a buy-local mentality and even though there has been a huge influx of foreigners, this hasn't changed a bit. There are no supermarkets in town, but most groceries can easily be bought in the small shops. Important to note is that there are two ATMs in town, which regularly run empty. It's always best to not wait until you're completely out of cash before your next ATM visit. If you would run dry, more ATMs can be found in the nearby villages. Restaurant-wise, most menus will contain largely Mexican food. Although hamburgers and fries are very common as well. If you prefer to eat more international, there is a Thai place as well as two Italian restaurants. Very much recommended is the seafood dough, which is as fresh as can be. Compared to other places in Mexico and especially to the Riviera Maya, Zipolite is still relatively cheap. A beer is about $2, a cocktail less than $5 and food will cost about $10 to $15 unless you're going to the more expensive restaurants. The price per night at clothing optional hotels is typically somewhere between $50 and $150, depending on the location and the standard of the hotel. Mexico isn't particularly known for its great safety, but the coast of Oaxaca, where Zipolite is located, is generally quite safe. As anywhere in the world, Petty crime may happen, so it's recommended to always keep an eye on your belongings. Or just don't bring them to the beach or to parties. The most dangerous part of Zipolite is the ocean. The waves are high and the undercurrent is strong. And this has surprised many visitors in the past, often leading to very unfortunate results. Be very, 
very careful when you go into the water. And unless you're a surfer, it's better not to go much further than knee deep. Since the last years, the amazing lifeguards have been able to avoid many incidents and you can help them a lot by not doing anything stupid. The best way to get to Zipulite is via one of the two nearby airports. Huatulco is the more popular one and receives several international flights from the USA and Canada. Puerto Escondido is the second option with only national flights. Most visitors will need a layover in Mexico City. A taxi ride from either airport takes about an hour. Airport taxis charge around 1,500 pesos, but if you walk outside the airport, the taxi price drops to about 900 to 1,000 pesos, which is roughly 50 US dollars. For more practical information about visiting Zipolite, the clothing optional hotels and general tips, check out the website zipolite-mexico.com. Overall, Zipolite is a magical place. There are many YouTube videos talking about this small Mexican town, but the only way to really experience it is by going there yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to discover more clothes-free places around the world.